Hey guys, it's Slay and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today, I thought I would flip through Q1 of my planner for the year 2020. We have this stack that's already been done, completed. I don't know if I flipped through all of it, but that's in the past now, okay? We're gonna do work on this part of the path. So I'm gonna show you January through March and kind of showing you show you what my planning looked like, what it's turned into, what I'm liking, what I'm not, and just honestly to get a look back, because that is honestly my favorite thing about planning now is going through my old planners just to kind of see what I've done. It's just fun and to kind of see moments in time. I don't know, I love it. I mean, I would love a video or like picture, but it's really nice to go in and kind of see what you were doing or thinking during that time. So here is January. Started off, well look, I started off talking about what I was saving and, uh. I stopped on the third, so that was very promising. I don't use this page. <laughs> okay, so then we have January. This one, I think this was the last Planner Kate full like monthly kit, because starting in 2020, I was trying not to buy as many stickers, use my stash and things like that. So this is, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the last kit for the month, and I love it. This is when she reformatted it. It confused me a lot, no, no lie, when I was putting it together, if you guys wanna go see that video, but. I just love the simplicity of it. It's still like bold, but it's still very muted. I love it. And then this, I think I just lie to myself and tell myself I'm gonna use this piece of the planner. Never used it. I do sticky notes right here for like pre-planning and sometimes I'll write stuff down, but most of the time I don't and then I never use it. Let me know, do you actually use this? Cause I don't, I definitely don't. Okay, here we go. First week-ish of the year. Very plain allergies. Oh, other allergies. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Um, I, so I would put stuff in, but not too, too much. There's that. Oh, this is when I fell in love with this thick washi, I think. <gasps> I still love it. I absolutely love the thick washi. It's beautiful. Okay, started adding more things in, but still very, very empty. I love how I keep track of the books that I read. That's just like one of my things. I also keep track, I'm gonna show you, this is not part of the three months, but I keep track. I kept trying to do like a calendar year of the books that I read, but it works better when I do it for the academic year of my Erin Condren planner. So, so far this year for, you know, the academic year, I've read 20 books. So that's kind of exciting. Um, but yeah, I keep track of them as I go. And I like that. I loved this kit. Absolutely love this kit. This is the first time because like I'm not I wasn't really into like the Not it's not even pick art but like the drawings of like the girls and like the coziness and the cups and stuff like that But this kit really drew me into kind of liking the um, those type of kits. I Just love this one This one's very simple Once again very sporadic as to what I was putting and I like always had issues like do I put work meetings in or do I not put work meetings in? never knew what I wanted to do so I still struggle with that. I'm like, do I do it or not? Never use this back page. Okay, February. Oh, I glued the pages together or taped them because I, I just don't use that page. So this is the first time I used the Erin Condren sticker sheet though. And I loved it. I absolutely loved how colorful it was. I did still use the headers from Planner Kate, but then everything else. I actually really like it. I kind of wish I had more of these, but I loved using this one. This is the first time I ever did it with Erin Condren stickers and I loved it. That monthly sticker kit book like came in handy. I absolutely love how it turned out, but okay, let's see real. I love like the sticker kits like for January. I love this. This makes me so happy. I also like this, but I'm starting to like look into different sticker shops and I love them. Sarah Marie, she does a lot of budgeting stickers, but she does like a monthly layout for the deluxe monthly. And I'm wondering if it'll fit like just a regular life planner because some of her designs are super cute and I really, really like them. So I have to figure that out. Gorgeous. Wow, this one had no nothing really. Atlanta to home. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. And I was like, wait, what is going on? This is the week I was at my parents' house because my mom had a procedure done. And I was like, Atlanta home equal the same thing. So I'm kind of confused. So this one was very bare, but I do see that I started, in, in, like, started using some of my washi and a lot. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. This looks a lot more purple on camera, but it's very pinky in person. Once again, nothing very much. I just really wasn't adding a lot of stuff. 
I don't know why. Like I did a lot more than what was on here. It looks like I didn't do anything at all, but I did do a lot, I just didn't put it in. I struggle with that sometimes. Like, should I go back, should I not? You know, the struggle. Okay, so here's another one. This one I loved. This one is an a la carte that I have randomly picked uh, from Planner Kate's site and I loved it, the yellow. You guys, I think it's funny because I think if you look at my first videos, like I really wasn't into really bright colors. I was like, no, like I want it muted and like soft and like still beautiful, but like not out there. Now I'm just like, give me the color to the point that I'm like, hmm, I think when the live planner comes out, I may switch to a colorful instead of a neutral. It's like, who am I? You know? Also, I love these house stickers from Planner Cave, my favorite. Mm. I love this one too. <laughs> Outside of this thick washi and the headers, everything else was from my stash, which I love because like that's how much I can like put everything together and be fine. And I love that I'm using more of my Simply Gilded washi. Okay, once again, blank and more blank. Let me know. Okay, this is actually, this is a real question I have. For this page, okay, tell me, did you use it? Like you're like, oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna use it and you've always used it. Did you use it and then stop using it? Cause you're like, nah, this is pointless. Or did you think it was pointless, but then start using it? I know that's a lot of questions, but like my question was, I thought I could make these pages work. And then I just realized, no, that was a lot of work. You know, I was just like, I'm putting a lot of the same information in the next page. So I didn't think I needed to put it in two places. I don't know, maybe that's just me. All right, March, another Erin Condren sticker kit thing. Um, and this is the last month of the quarter. I had to remind myself how many, which is three months, three, mo three months and a quarter. Um, okay, so this is something that I think is cool, not because of what is happening right now, um, but because this is like what I, I find really cool to be able to look back on in my planners. So in March, we know like everything that's going on kind of started getting a lot more serious. And here I, you can kind of tell where I started my work from home because of the virus. And I don't, I mean, I, this is like awful, but I do think that, you know, if I look back on this 10 years from now and be like, oh my gosh, I do remember that time I was at home for X amount of time, like, and know where it started and kind of, put things in there. I'm not much of a journaler, but I am thinking that maybe, um, whether it be in the extra page where I'm not using it or at the end of the planner, I'm thinking I might jot down some of my thoughts and kind of what happened and how I was feeling because I have felt a lot of emotions. If you guys watch my plan with me, as you guys know, I've talked about like breaking down and like it just, it, it's weighing a lot on me. Um, and so knowing that I could have a little area to write down how I'm feeling just to kind of remember that and I don't know I think it might be interesting let me know are you guys journaling journaling during this time have you always journaled or did you just decide to pick it up because of what's going on let me know um and then also how like journaling for beginners like I'm just not good at it I've always tried but I get through like a day or two days and then I'm like yeah I'm done but I think it would be really nice to kind of have a memory which is why I think I really like going through my planner because I try to put as much well, not really. <laughs> I think recently I've tried to put as much as possible in there because I don't journal. So there's that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one was fun. This is an Erin Contran kit and some Michael's washi. I absolutely loved it. I think I only used, except I think outside of this one, this little Coffee Monster Co sticker. Everything else is just an Erin Contran sticker. And I loved it because I have a ton of those that I need to get through. There's that. Here is Mar no, this is not St. Patrick's Day. I was like, March, St. Patrick's Day. No, it's not. But I did use a lot of green this month. Um, and I did keep kind of like a tab of like gratitude and things that I'm thankful for. So that's nice to see. Um, books I'm reading. Love that. Amazing, isn't it? Like it's beautiful. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I think this is a funny week because you can see a lot of like with the shows that I, like, it, you can start to tell I started watching a lot of TV. And I think that's funny. But I did start, like, incorporating things. And, like, I like how, like, I'm, like, I think a few weeks ago, I can't remember when, but it shows, like, when I started my thyroid medicine, so I can kind of keep track for myself. So I think it's really interesting how you can keep track of so much that maybe you don't remember, but you more than likely put it in your planner. Also, I do bad, because I'm always, like, when I plan 
my when I do my plan with these I usually do it like a few days before the week starts so I don't want to put the temperature in or the weather in while I'm filming because it's not probably going to be the same but then I forget and sometimes I only end up doing two days so I think that's funny yeah I started putting like when I put gas in I went to Costco like I started adding everything in yeah this one definitely shows it. NCIS 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 I think that's all I watched for a really long time um and that's funny and I think this yeah this is the first full week that I started working from home I mean I already worked from home some days but this is like the complete work from home so like, I put like when I went to go get food and then awesome like when my sister opened her own Etsy shop her earring shop Maggie and Pete I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out um I love her earrings but I just I think it's fun to go back and look at things different show like I put in what I was doing cleaning. That's all I was doing like the first week. I was like, what am I gonna do? So there's that. And then I think this is the last full, I might show you the first week of April because it includes the last of the month of March, but this is like the last full week of March. And I love this one because it has cat washi. I love cats. Oh, I love how I put oops. Cause I, oh yeah, this was the day, the 25th. I just kept buying stuff because I was like, this quarantine has me like, I don't know what to do. And everyone kept having sales and I was like, fine, I'll, you can take my money. It's not going anywhere. Um, but I loved it. I did add a ton of stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let me see. These are the first, or these are the last two days, but this is the first kind of week of April. So into the second quarter, but I thought I would show you guys like at least kind of a quick spread of what I was doing. Like you can tell I've definitely started adding a ton more stickers i'm i used to kind of ha go back and forth between should i put more stickers in or should i not um or even like hey i know i did this i can go back and put it in my planner but sometimes i wouldn't but lately one because i have the extra time to be like oh yeah i remember exactly what i did there's because i'm not doing anything um i've been adding a lot more into my planners and going back and what i'm doing um, so I like that, but part of me would always struggle, like, what's the point? But now, like, I can look back and see, like, yeah, I spent too much money that day, or, you know, uh, we went house hunting, or, you know, whatever it is. Like, I now really enjoy adding that. I like starting the week kind of, like, with a cleanish slate, with just, like, what I know is going to happen, and then go back and add them, because I just think it makes the planner so much more cheerful and I got to see kind of what's going on because I don't like to pre-plan things because when I pre-plan it sometimes I'm just like yeah that's not gonna end up happening or something comes up and I don't want to have to take stickers up and things like that so let me know do you guys wait to add everything you do till that that it's actually happened or do you like to pre-plan and be like okay my goal is to do x y and z and then what do you do if it doesn't happen do you just put cancel through it or do you take up the stickers I would love to know that because that's a lot. <laughs> I'm just really interested. I love learning how people plan. Um, I just find it fascinating. I don't know. That's probably I watched, why I watch so many hours of YouTube videos. But anyways, um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.